okay so this week is Halloween and uh, this is the project that we're going to make today is what is that it's a flying bat using a clothespin alright so we're gonna make this and it's going to be very very fine so materials are color paper any color uh, liquid glue glue stick black marker you can use a sharpie scissors pencil in case you use it and of course a wooden cloth pen if you have a plastic wood pen should be this type of cloth pen this shape and not smaller or different than this because you need to to paste the paper here so any other kind of cloth pen is going to be difficult okay okay so let's begin materials on the side we're gonna use first the paper and we're going to fold it half like this fold it half yes and cut cut by half on the folding part cut 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 you can do as many bats as you want because from one paper you can get like four of them so you have half of the paper like this just you put it away you're gonna use it later maybe so this one fold it again in half like this yes and cut like this and then you have two rectangles so again you're going to use only one for this time so fold it again in half like this yes and you're going to use this one so on the part that is folded yes on the part that is folded you're gonna start making a drawing from right to left like this open it like this as, as a little book close it and you're gonna start drawing here what are you going to draw fold it well you're going to draw if you want to do it first with the pencil you can do it with the pencil and then mark it with the marker so I'm going to do it uh, directly so this is what you need to do is something like a wing starting from where it's folded like this and then it's like one curve two curves and three curves and finish here on the folding line all right well below this you're going to draw as a small rectangle like this like this and there and right here you're going to to draw the body of the bat is start with the head it's like this this and it's like this size and of course the ears long ears as a bat okay and that's it well now you're going to cut but follow the cut like this is don't unfold it first you're gonna cut cut using the the line the mark line like this go around the wing yeah be careful cutting with your fingers please and uh, cut again careful don't cut the wing wrong because you will need to do it again so go cutting following the cut line or the mark line here if you don't have color paper you can do it with white paper and then color it black if you want to do a real black bat but the thing is you need to have a, a bat color bat from different colors so now cut the rectangle like this here here these two put them together like this and the body of the of the bat cut it too cut it too 
cut like this. The head should be this size, okay? And the ears. This, this, this. Here, the head and the body of the bed. Just like this. Okay? But when you finish cutting the body of the pad, you're going to have two. Like this. Yes? So use whatever you want. I'm going to use this one. Okay? I'm here. And now, this is trash. And this is trash. So now, I can open the wings. And I have two. Right? Well, put it here and the rectangle too. You're gonna have a, a, a long rectangle line like this. Okay, now take the clutch pin and first you're gonna paste the body of the of the bat and you're gonna paste it here. Here. The head should be off the clutch pin like this and the body in I mean on the clutch pin like this. Okay? And I insist you can use glue stick or you can use liquid glue. I'm gonna use first glue stick, plenty of it. Use plenty of glue stick only on the body of the of, of the bat and then paste it here as I told you on the clutch pin. As it's a, a wooden clutch pin, it's easier and faster to dry it when you glue. Okay? So, here it is. Okay? Alright. Now, comes the wings. And you're gonna use glue stick too. Plenty of uh, glue stick in this position. Yes? and right in the middle paste it on the bat body like this and should be in the middle of the clutch pin too like this okay now you need to fold back the wings now you have it like this right so you need to fold back the wings carefully like this and like this okay should be folded like this like a butterfly <laughs> okay like this why because you're gonna use now the rectangle use some glue stick to all the way the rectangle use your fingers to support the paper and put some glue like this and it's this is very important you're gonna paste the middle of the rectangle in this part of the clutch pin on the back I mean on the, on the on the bottom part the middle of the paper goes here and you're gonna do this you're gonna paste this with the wings and this is very important so first you need to paste first very very hard the paper on the wood of the on the wooden clutch pin like this push then push like this and then push in this position the rectangle on the wing and on the other side is the same push like this and then you need to wait to dry the glue don't don't push the clutch pin to open yet not yet you need to wait to dry and then you can move the bat why because you need to paste very well here here in the back it should be very 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 well pasted here okay you can do like this to dry it off. You can blow. Yeah, I, I insist it's, it's faster when you use glue stick, but you can also use liquid glue, okay? So, I think I finish. 
doesn't take me too long but now I can play with my bat and use it like this just push the clutch pin and you can make it fly like this see actually mine the other one this one makes noise like can you hear sounds like a bath and now I have two bats and we can play together during this Halloween night and you can name it after a pet or something like that okay so this is it have fun make a lot of color bats or if you want to make a, a black bat you can also do it all right okay see you later then thank you